Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first update for the new year for my Pan That Palette. I am panning kind of three palettes at the moment. So it's Pan That Palette and Pan in Every Palette. So I'm panning three palettes and one single eyeshadow currently. So if you're interested in seeing my update, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we actually have a little bit of an update today. So I will be rolling something in today. So the Panda Palace was started by Amber F many years ago now where you finish, your goal is to finish an entire palette. So I started these in May last year. So the palette I want to share with you first is my Modern Renaissance. Let me just show you where I was the last time. And I actually used it a good bit this time. And then I'll show you where I am now. Woohoo! There's a bit of, you know, it looks like it's been used this time. So let me just go through the goals first. So my first goal was to use Bon Fresco 10 times this month. And I hit that goal. So I'll show you the close-up of where it was and where it is. And it looks so much different. It just looks so different. So this has been looking like a bruise on me. So I have been using it as a crease shade and a chin, like a contour under here. I had an abscess on my tooth, so I was... I was quite swollen here, so I actually had to put a bit here to balance this side of my face out, which was grand. I'm absolutely delighted that I've made that much progress. And then the next three goals for this palette I had was to use Love Letter, Venetian Red and Red Ochre three times each, which I have in fact done. I don't know does it look any different with the three times each from the close-ups of so the three ready shades, but that's where we are. And then for weights, I went from 180 grams down to 179.32. So let's just get into the uses. I'm hoping that I'm out of the way. So we're going to start with Golden Ochre. I used that four times. Um, Vermeer, I've already finished. Bon Fresco. So I ended up using that 11, or 16 times. My goal was to use it 10 times. And I used it the 16 times. Um, Antique Bronze, I used five times. Love Letter, I used it three times. Cypress Umber, I used once. Raw Sienna, I used three times. Burnt Orange, I used four times. Red Ochre, we're skipping over to here now. Red Ochre, I used three times. Venetian Red, three times. Warm Taupe, I used 16 times. And uh, Real Algar, I used three times. So that's how many times I used this palette. Uh, I've been panning now over five years and my I used to pan things I hate, I hate panned, and I pan to the exclusion of everything else. So maybe I want to take some inspiration from that version. Not, I will never hate pan again, but instead of trying to use every single shade in the palette, I want to kind of focus down on something for the month more clearly. So since it's February, I'm thinking my goal again is to use each of these red shades three times. And after that, then I want to focus on, where is it? Golden Ochre. I want to like try and get golden ochre as much as possible. So my goal for golden ochre is just going to be 10 times, which I I don't know, can I do that? But that is the goal. So I want to use golden ochre 10 times. I want to finish Bon Fresco. And I want to use these three red shades three times again. I don't know if that's a bit of a hefty goal, but we'll see. So that's my goal for the Modern Renaissance. And that's where I am for that. The next palette I have is my Subculture palette. This was always like the secondary one, apparently, for some reason. <clears throat> so I'll show you where I was the last time. And I will show you where I am now. I hit a, a goal today. I hit a major goal today. So first of all, I want to go through the goals. So my first goal was to use Mercury five times because I had been neglecting it. And I have done that. The next goal was Untamed, which is the green, and Destiny, which is the green. And I want to use each of those three times each, which I've done. So we've hit the three goals for this palette too. So for the two palettes, I've hit my two goals. Now let's just go through the uses and I'll show you the major difference if it's not obvious because I don't always notice in other people's videos. So I'll start off with the shade Dawn. Dawn I use four times. This to me is starting to look different. I feel it is anyway. Dawn I use four times. Destiny I ended up using four times. Adorn I used three times. And I don't know if you've noticed, but this is a lot. The pan looks wider to me and flatter. 
And then after that then is All Star, you only use that once. Mercury, I used six times. Oh no, five times, sorry. Axis, I hit pan on Axis, I used it three times. And today was the last time I put it all over my lid as a base. This is a beautiful base shadow. I didn't need, I also topped it off with uh, electric, but it was actually quite lovely on its own. But I hit pan and Axis, how exciting. I love the shade Axis. The only problem shade I had mainly was this one here, Destiny and Untamed, but this shade is, has always been beautiful. Anyway, Roxy, I used this once, Electric I used three times, which again, this is looking flatter to me also. Fudge, Fudge I used once, New Wave I used twice, Untamed I used three times, Edge I used once, and Rowdy I used once. So, like I'm working on so many browns, so this one will be the last one I work on pretty much. So goals for this palette this time, I want to hunker down again. So Dawn, I want to use Dawn, oh God, Ooh, 10 times. I want to use Dawn 10 times. I want to go less, you know, and I want to use Edge five times. That's tough for me because I, I rarely use it. So two goals for this palette, Dawn 10 times and Edge five times. I have to write this down because I, I will forget. I will forget. So that's where I am with my pan, the palette portion. Now for pan in every palette. Pan in every palette. This was started by Lady Pans a lot. And I, since I have two shimmer shades left, essentially to work on between these two palettes, and I eventually want to do Pans' those eyeshadows, there's no point because I have so many mattes left. So I want to roll in one palette to hit pan in and it most likely would be a shimmer shade. So I rolled in the Going Coconuts from Colourpop and my goal for the month was to use it five times just to pick a shade that I wanted to pan. And I actually used it seven times, so I did. So let me just go through the uses here. But I'll sh before I do that, let me show you where I was the last time. And I don't know if it's much different, but this is where I am now. So I don't know if you can see much of a difference, but I'll just go through. So shredded, which way is this? Shredded, I used shredded once. I used palm reader three times. I didn't use culada. If you want pina colada. Uh, lovely bunch I used once. Cocoa crush I used four times. Shell yeah. Shell yeah I used once. Get cracking, this one down here I used once. I'm in love with the cocoa. Okay, so the shade, the cocoa, I used once and then I didn't use Nutty. One thing I just want to say about this palette, or like a few things maybe, this sequence shade here, this matte with glitters in it, it's actually quite a nice shade. When you place that on your eye, the sparkles do show up, but as soon as you blend, the sparkles disappear. It's just like a matte shadow. Um, for me, they apply better with a finger because they do kind of crumble, um, but it's fine, it's perfect. And I have opted to go with this shade here. So. Coco Crush is going to be the one that I'm going to work on to hit pan on and hopefully that will happen. I thought that this one would be too easy even though I quite enjoyed it. Uh, some people said under, I had a few people comment underneath my video the last time when I said how many uses do you think this will take to hit pan and a few people have said in their experience these shimmers take between 20 and 25 uses and in their experience the mats, the highest number I saw was 66. So if I have this one here, I have used this shade now four times. So we'll see, will I hit it between 20 and 25? I think that was the highest number, 20 and 25. So, or did someone say 30? But anyway, 20 and 25 is the goal. See if I'll hit pan in that time. I do absolutely love it. If I have any looks, which I know that I do, I will share them on the screen with you today. Um, one of the looks, I took your advice and I used Destiny as a a liner and it was fantastic, it was actually handy, it was perfect. Great advice, thank you so much for the people that suggested that. I have been using them as a base, absolutely love it. palettes five of those palettes had pan and that was 7.04 percent um of my palettes have pan in it this time i have 72 palettes 
and five of those have pan. So the reason why I have 72 palettes and 71 is because a friend of mine here um, decluttered one of her palettes to me, which is, which is amazing. I'm so happy about it, but I didn't buy anything. I have two palettes waiting to come from me and none of those were purchased in 2021. Well, they were purchased in 2020, but they just still haven't arrived. One was Black Friday in relation to Colourpop and I'll explain it when it arrives. And then the other is the It's Freaking Backs from Shroud Cosmetics, but at the moment I don't have them. So then for single eyeshadows, I am always working on a matte cream in this project as well. I don't know why, I just am. So I was working on a Makeup Revolution single eyeshadow and I will show you where I was at the intro. I have used this single eyeshadow a total of 14 times since it's, since the intro and you'll see where it is. It's all gone, it empty. So I finished this matte cream shade and because it doesn't come from a palette that doesn't have pan, it doesn't increase my palette percentage, but this is empty. So we're going to be rolling in something in its place. So this time it's coming from a palette. I have two matte creams left that are in singles, but I wanted, to, I wanna pan this palette eventually. So I said, let's just try to do that as well. So this is the Makeup Revolution Stripped and Bare, and I got this from Poric for Christmas a few years ago. I think it was our second Christmas. I don't remember, but anyway, this is the palette, okay? So there's three, there's a matte cream here and here, and this is a satin finish. I am wearing this as a highlighter today and I actually really like it. But for the purposes of this project, I'm rolling in this matte cream here and I love this one. This is a kind of a bone banana-ish. It is a teeny, teeny dip. I used it today. I've only used this shade twice ever in its entire life, but I am rolling this in. When I finish my highlighter in my other project, I'm feeling like I'm gonna roll this into that as a highlighter, but anyway, this is the shade I'm rolling. I got rid of these shades here, one, two, three, and four. Don't know why I did that, didn't like them, so got rid of them, but I could have just left them there, but I, I got rid of them. Um, so that's what I'm rolling in, in place of my single, and this is going to be the shade going forward. So that was my kind of all over the place update. I don't know why I'm all over the place today, but if you enjoyed, please do subscribe, and I'll see you the next time. Take care, bye. Thank you.